So good morning everyone. I am sat in the salon on our day of closure um, just to give a go of doing the unicorn horn that I've seen all over Facebook at the moment. Um, so I've already sculpted my nail into a lovely pointy almond, giving it a good squeeze so it's lovely and thin and looks like a unicorn horn, hopefully. <laughs> um, so the first thing I'm going to just say is with this, I've buffed it so it's completely smooth. Um, I haven't put a top coat or anything like that on it because we're going to add more acrylic just to make those ridges to form the unicorn horn. So I'm using um, Young's Concealer Pink to do this. So I'm just going to pick up a little bead on my nail art brush. Just a tiny one, I don't know if you can see that, and you just wait for it to kind of go really shiny. You don't want to be too wet because otherwise you're going to be chasing it all over. And the point of this is to get it so that it's like a line that goes across the tip and you want it to be quite angled as you're going down. So once that's on, you can kind of push it into a nice shape. I hope you can see that on, as I'm doing it. You don't want them to be too pointed up, I don't think. As this is my first go, I'm probably learning just as much as you, hopefully. So that's my first bit of my unicorn ridge. Hopefully you can all see that in there. I'm just gonna go back in again, pick up another bead. Obviously a little bigger than last bead. And again, I'm just gonna wait for that to kind of go really shiny. Don't know if you can see that in the light. And then again, I'm gonna place that back on. And I'm just gonna do a little line all the way across making sure it is quite diagonal. Wiping my brush, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna give it a little push into shape, making sure it does go all the way round the end of the nail. I'm just gonna wipe my brush again just so I don't want too much molymer on there. I'm just gonna go through the divot so it's nice and clean. So once that's on, and I'm just going to keep repeating that all the way down the nail until I'm completely happy that I've got enough of a, a unicorn horn. Um, I think with this, you wouldn't probably do it on, you know, every single nail, if I'm honest. Um, it probably would be a little bit too much. So maybe like as, you know, a ring finger nail or, you know, incorporating it into a lot of other different designs that you're going to have on someone's nail um so yeah i actually think it's really really super cute um obviously won't be for everyone and as you can see i'm just going back in and cleaning that little divot so that it really stands up I'm hoping you can see this effect in the light. I'm going to go back again, take another bead. Again, slightly larger, waiting for that to go a bit more shiny like that. And then I'm just going to pop that straight on. I'm shaking a little bit today because I'm not very well. <laughs> I've got a bit of a cold. You can probably tell through my voice that um, I've been, I've uh, had the man flu. Um, so yeah, just forgive my sexy voice at the moment. So again, just making sure that's nice and straight and it, that it does go all the way round the nail. And that, so it's kind of interconnecting so that if it was going round, you, it would look like it's connected underneath as well. I think that's the best way. I'm just making it a bit more curved as I go around because I think that would look prettier. But not like major, major curve. I'm just going to add a little bit on that end bit because it's not quite enough. This is relatively, you know, easy actually, to be fair, considering I've not done it before. <laughs> um, in the fact that it's a little time consuming, but actually, if you want to start giving, you know, 3D 
acrylic art ago. This is probably a really good one to start with, I think. That's better, I'm a bit more happier with that. So I hope you can see kind of how that, that's taking form. So I'm just gonna finish that off and then I'll come back to you and uh, show you how to finish your unicorn off. So I've uh, finished my unicorn horn acrylic work. And as you can see, it's all over the nail to make it that full on unicorn look. Hope you can see that. Next thing I'm gonna do is just take my um, manicured top coat. And I'm just gonna pop that onto the nail, making sure that I kind of get in all the little grooves as well. Because after that, you're gonna pop um, a pigment over the top. So I'm just gonna use purple pigment, um, which is one of my fave colors, purple. So you're just gonna make sure that's really in there, but not gloopy, you don't want it like, you know, clogging up your your indents. So just kind of go back through, wipe off any of your your excess, which is what I'm doing now because I don't I want to be able to actually see. But as you can see, when you put that top coat on, it kind of molds it all together, makes it look even better. Make sure you do your tip as well. So I'm going to pop that into the lamp. So cool. I have taken my little unicorn horn out of the lamp and I'm just going to use my purple pigment which is super cute I don't know if you can see that it's really shiny and I'm just going to literally start moving that all across really scrubbing it in oh it looks so good love it already so I'm just going to keep on going making sure it's all in there and as you can see I don't know if you can see how shiny that is and how when you move it around, it looks completely different. So I'm just gonna keep wiping that in, making sure it's all down my sides. Give it a good wipe over. Once I've wiped that all into my top coat, I'm gonna go back over and I'm gonna top coat again. And if I'm not mistaken, that looks pretty good for a unicorn horn nail. I love it. I'm hoping you can see how beautiful it looks on film too. Obviously, as you know, I've only just started doing YouTube, so I'm still getting a little used to kind of how to do nails while having the camera on at all times. I'm just going to give that a little wipe over, make sure there's no dust anywhere. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go back in with my manicure top coat. And I'm just going to, again, make sure I get in all the little creases here. Because obviously when you come to wipe up your sticky layer, the last thing you want is to take away your purple pigment. So this is purple unicorn pigment that um, I just got from the beauty show actually um, when I went in November. Um, and I've not actually used it yet because I've not found a reason to. Um, but I'm sure you can kind of pick this pigment up from anywhere. Um, so yeah, there is a pretty, hopefully beautiful unicorn nail. So again, I'm going to pop that back into the lamp. 